Happy Friday, everybody. Today we're going to learn the midpoint formula. And the midpoint formula is just like the distance formula that you learned yesterday. It is something that's going to be with you for the rest of your math career. But it's also something that's pretty easy to use. So uh, the way the midpoint formula works is we begin with a set of ordered pairs. So I'm going to start with negative 2, negative 8 as my one ordered pair. And then my other ordered pair is going to be 6, negative 8. Now you'll notice right below where I wrote those two ordered pairs, it says m equals x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So I want you to write this down somewhere where you are certain not to lose it or forget it. This is what we call the midpoint formula. Okay, so a good place to put this is wherever you have the distance formula written down from yesterday. <coughs> this is going to be the midpoint formula. So what we do then is we just take this formula and plug our x's and y's into there and solve it like we would a normal equation. So I have x1 plus x2. So my x1 value is negative 2. And my x2 value is 6. Then I have y1 plus y2. So my y1 is negative 8. And my y2 is also a negative 8. So what I do then is negative 2 plus 6 becomes 4. And then negative 8 plus a negative 8 becomes a negative 16. So 4 divided by 2 is going to be 2. And negative 16 divided by 2 is going to be a negative 8. So that means the midpoint between these two ordered pairs is 2, negative 8. So if I drew an xy axis to illustrate this, I know that negative 2, negative 8 is over here in quadrant 3. So we'll just estimate it to be about right there. And I know that 6, negative 8 is over here in quadrant 4. So I'll estimate that point to be probably about right here. And then if I drew a line connecting those two points together, what we just found, this ordered pair of 2, negative 8, is going to be the midpoint and fall somewhere right about there. Okay, so that's what we're finding as we are using this midpoint formula, is we're finding what point is in the middle or occurs between those two points. Okay, basically all we're doing is finding an average. All right, so let's move on to another example. Okay, so for this example, we're going to use 6, 8. And the other one's going to be 2, 4. So same thing, this right here is my midpoint formula. Okay, so with my midpoint formula then, we can go ahead and start inputting our number values. So my x1 is going to be 6. My x2 is going to be 2. My y1 is going to be 8. And my y2 is going to be 4. So 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. And 12 divided by 2 is 6. So that means the midpoint of these two points is the ordered pair 4, 6. So again, if I were to draw myself a coordinate plane, okay, uh, the first point 6, 8 is over here in quadrant 1. So we can estimate that about right there. My other ordered pair. 2, 4 is going to be in quadrant 1 as well. So it'll be about, say, right there. And then if I connected these two points with the line, my midpoint then, that ordered pair solution is going to be about right in here. Somewhere. That, that's what I just found. 4, 6, my ordered pair solution. All right, let's do one more. 
and then we'll go on to the assignment for the day. All right, so <clears throat> my ordered pair for this one's going to be 10, 4, and then my other one's going to be 2, 6. All right, so I've got x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So I'm going to have 10 plus 2, and then I'm going to have 4 plus 6. So 10 plus 2 is 12. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 4 plus 6 is 10. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So same thing. If I look here, both of these points, again, are in quadrant 1. So I'm going to estimate 10, 4 over here, about right there. And then 2, 6, if I estimate that to be about right up here. And draw that line to connect them together. And then 6, 5 is right there in the middle. So there's your midpoint. All right, so like I said, make sure you have written this down somewhere where you won't lose it or forget it because you're definitely going to need it on Monday. There's a short little uh, person puzzle on Mia Ham today that you can do to practice what you just learned about the midpoint formula. Have a great weekend, everybody. Thank you for all you do. Talk to you Monday.